The veteran headler ran a season best of 51.95 seconds in his last competition in Florida, which was worth 1,034 points on the IAAF scoring tables. But this wasn't enough to overhaul the 1,072 points from Pinao on 11 June. Atlantic's PNG has conveyed its congratulations to Pinao and acknowledged the huge contribution that Boino has made to Atlantic's. But in a spirited sight, Moen was the first to congratulate the 23-year-old last week and has been a big help to Theo during the lead-up to the trials. On a special note, Coach Dio Lori, who has been with the athletes in Florida, says the bond of friendship between the two goes far beyond Atlantic's and it is only on the track where there is evidence of competition. Mr. Green says Moen has been a model for the younger athletes, displaying hard work, class and consistency as evidenced by his performance over many years. Toya Whistle is also confirmed in the team now that the PNG Olympic Committee qualifying period has come to an end and no other female athletes have come close to qualifying. That means that the one place available to PNG under the university rule will be taken by Whistle. However, Whistle's 11.29 seconds in the recent Melanesian Championships in Suva, Fiji gave her an edge where she is now qualified for the Olympics on merit, which means she can go straight into the first heat in Rio instead of running the preliminaries. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.